Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Aries. So Aries, you might be able to hear the ceiling fan above me, but it's a little warm today. We're in the mid-70s, so I'm just going to rock with you in this reading. Please rock with me and let's get it going. I hope you all are having a blessed new year and everything is going good for you. We're going to get some clarity, insight, and guidance for you through spirit. So I pray before the reading, I'm going to ask spirit to bless this reading. Please bless this reading spirit, the cutting of the cards, the dealing of the cards. We trust you in all things and all ways. Okay. This card has come out in every reading. <laughs> so you're going to win in the end. Maybe some of you have cancer placements as this is a cancer card or maybe you got a cancer around you but all in all this is victory and this is fast moving action this could be a move it could be vacation it could be traveling but all in all this is a victory and it's a blessed major arcana card for you so you're gonna win in the end get it aries all right so first card out the gate is the five of wands so either you got competition around you could be for a certain position could be for love could be for anything but you would know what you're competing for or it could be chaos and drama a lot of confusion so you know at the bottom of the deck here we have the nine of wands so it looks like it's been a trying time in this chaos and drama you also got some forceful energy around you so just be mindful about that but all in all you know the nine is like a pit stop so you can go to the 10 and complete this cycle so looks like you're on the pit stop so you can you know take a break from all this drama and chaos and just get back to being who you are and looks like you're gonna win in the end anyway with this victory okay we're gonna keep it moving Next card, Seven of Pentacles. So this is harvest time. This is like you're winning too, but for whatever reason, you're not seeing your worth in the situation. You're building up a lot of value. You've shown yourself you are worthy, but for whatever reason, you're not seeing that worth in some form or fashion. So you want to go ahead and get into your spiritual nature to remind yourself how beautiful you are, how powerful you are how abundant and loved you are by the universe. And that's where our real power lies is spiritual. It's spiritually being connected, remembering our spiritual connection, being tapped in, turned on to the divine, to source, to our guardian angels, our ancestors and higher self. So do that for yourself and get your power back and just know everything will work out. Miss Car the devil, okay, so yeah. That's why you're not seeing your words. You could be in a toxic relationship, dealing with someone who puts you in the nine of wands position. Could be like forceful energy coming at them or you're going at, the, you, either you're going at them with this energy or they're coming at you with it. But it's chaos and drama and you deserve so much more than this area. So we're going to get more clarity, but this is, you know, harvest time, but you're still not seeing your worth, your very worthy so i hope you know that for yourself but to cut yourself away from that devil and you know take this pit stop here but get ready to complete this cycle with this devil and toxic energy and get ready to move on from it okay and it shows that you are it shows that you're gonna win in the end you got the victory card showing it right here so you could be moving away from this devil Next card, yep. So you got the Page of Swords. So either you're dealing with immature ones swinging the sword immaturely and you're having to check them because they are full of themselves, but they're swinging that sword immaturely. Or this is you standing on the truth for yourself and not taking shorts. It could be either way, but it also could be someone spying on you online or you spying on them. So all in all, you will know who this page is for you. Next card, Justice. So you can't beat these two cards together, the Chariot and Justice together. How blessed and beautiful. It's like spirit has our back and our front when we get these cards like this. 
God's spiritual Uber to take you where you deserve to be, whether you're traveling, going on vacation, moving away somewhere. This is victory all day, and this is justice. Nothing like when things aren't right, not fair, being made right and fair by spirit, and that's what's going to happen for you. All right, Aries, next card. Yep, Queen of Swords, this is what you want to see. So she's like a judge, just like this spiritual judge right here. And she doesn't suffer fools. The Queen of Swords is very clear, very sharp, very precise, on point. And she does not suffer fools. She will cut out what does not belong in her life. It looks like she's cutting out this devil. She's had enough. And so <laughs> dealing with the devil or toxic energy or toxic people could take you here to where you're not seeing your worth. Could be wearing you out to where you just... You're tired and you're the wounded warrior and you've given everything you got to a situation. So sometimes you have to be forceful and let them know you're done. Looks like that could be happening for you in this next cycle. But you got justice and you got, where you go? You got victory. <laughs> so you're going to win in the end. All right, let's keep it going. Next card, we got the shyster. So, you know, I got... People that I know that are Aries that are dealing with shysters, they're not above board, they're sneaky, they're doing things behind their back, and it's toxic and it's devilish energy. So Aries, you want to cut this out, cut this shyster out of your life and just do things correctly for yourselves and move on away from it because all they're going to do is keep taking you here to the wounded warrior position, to chaos and drama, competition. And you're not seeing your worth in this. So it's time to cut loose and get what you truly deserve in your life. Okay. So we got some powerful negative energy around you. But I think this is about to be over because you're getting your justice and you're getting victory. So next card, we got Aries. It's yep, a new beginning, a new start to manifest and use your magic to bring to you exactly what you want, the life that you want, as opposed to all this drama, devilish energy, shysters, taking you down from, you know, your peace and your joy and your your energy, like spiritual energy could be on empty. So this is a new beginning and it's showing it's time for you to get what is fair, what is right. And this is a victory for you. It's magic from the hand of God helping you in this situation as well as you being magical yourself. Wow. And then you get the will of fortune where everything is made right. Karma, justice in your favor. So not only did you get justice, karma, and victory, you got the will of fortune where everything you touch turns to gold kind of energy and you just can't beat this when the will like spins on to you you get to feel like success. You get to feel like you're successful in that, you know, the world does care about you and things happen at for a time, but then they're made right in our favor. So great karma, just fortune in your favor all the way through. All right, next card, the five of swords. So this is you standing on the truth, having to for yourself, you know, and this fives are changed, so this is the five of swords, so you could just be ending relationships, ending, you know, what you thought was going to be, isn't going to be, and cutting people out your life, and that could be what you're doing here. This could also be a nasty, devious person that's shysty, and these are my two shysty, shysty bill shyster cards, so you could have two shysters you're dealing with, but a lot of times, you know, the five is changed, and this is you standing on your truth and not taking any more shorts and we'll let anybody know that it's over. <laughs> Next card, seven of wands. So you're handling your responsibilities. You're getting things done that you need to get done. And though it's trying, you know, everything you've gone through with the devilish energy, the nine of wands, ready to give up at times. And you just kept going, you know, the shyster, you know, forceful energy coming at you, toxic energy from the devil. You're handling it all. You got a bird's eye view and you're winning in that as well. If 
Five of Pentacles, so this is a broken down relationship, whether it be money, whether it be you guys just aren't, you know, a good match anymore. You could be leaving this or going to the next stage in your love. It looks like you're cutting this out your life, though, because it looks like it was a lot of chaos, drama, a lot of hard work, fighting, sneaking around, could be some cheating and lying. You know, it looks like you weren't seeing your worth in the situation. Competition was an issue, you know, and feeling like the wounded warrior and you having to pull out this queen of swords and that could be male or female. It's just the energy of the car. She doesn't suffer fools and the devil being connected to devilish energy, doing devilish things, taking things to an extreme. You're cutting this out of your life and this is you standing on the truth and getting the shysters out your life. So you're about to make your world be what you want it to be in this next cycle. You're creating it from scratch. And this is all about a new beginning, be that at home, be that at work or all around. But you got new love coming in and that could be this new beginning, this new op opportunity here for the three of wands. And <laughs> this is new love. So this could be a soulmate, a twin flame, but this is a beautiful time for love, especially since, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up and look what you got, the queen of love. So <laughs> this could be your energy or someone around you that you're going to be dating or newly dating or you're going to the next stage in your love with this queen. But yeah, it looks like it's a new beginning for a lot of you out there and you deserve it. You deserve to feel love, be treated correctly and get your justice that you deserve, get this victory, move on for yourself, because it's a whole new beginning for you. It's a whole new time in your life. So you got it. You might have some kids around you, or this is flirting, a new offer of love. You might even have two choices. So a lot of times when you get this card and you get the Knight of Swords, you might be starting to date someone new, and then the old the ex, they come back, they try to charge back to save the relationship. That could be too, but looks like you're going to get the victory. Make sure you take this spiritual time out for yourself and think things over, become illuminated so you know you're choosing correctly. And this is uh, all about the empress. So if you're getting the empress, <laughs> you can't lose. This is true abundance, fertility, and just she's tied to the planet of love so she'll love you correctly treat you correctly be faithful to you and then you got the perfect match with the king of love so <laughs> where's that queen of love so you're gonna get tell me you got the king and queen of love at valentine's <laughs> so this reading is for the next two to three weeks so either you're meeting each other for the first time or going together in a new relationship or you're going to the next stage in your love and showing you're a spiritual superstar that's who you are we got a new moon coming up uh on the ninth and so you will be clear soon enough through all this you know muck <laughs> and darkness that's why you want to take this spiritual time out seriously become illuminated but it looks like you have someone that you're meant to be with a perfect match and it looks like they're a past life lover of yours. So <laughs> you're headed for a beautiful time for yourself. And it could lead to marriage, but it's definitely faithfulness and abundance, victory, and a whole new beginning in love and getting your karma and your justice and everything is gonna be made right for you. Just make the right decisions for yourself. And you got <laughs> the lover's card as well. So you're making your world be exactly what you want it to be. And you got the will of fortune. So enjoy great times ahead, all right, in this next cycle. Thank you all so much, Aries. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.